Thank you for watching Georgetown District High School's presentation for choosing grade 11 courses. This slideshow is presented by the guidance department and is shown to all grade 10 students in advance of them making their choices for next year's courses in my blueprint. We always ask that students begin to consider how their course choices in grade 11 impact not only their grade 12 course options, but more importantly, their initial post-secondary destinations. We encourage students to do the research necessary to make wise choices for their desired post-secondary destinations. This research starts with what we call the backwards plan. Starting from the left, students should consider what the future holds, college, apprenticeship, field of study, work, university, and fields of interest. From there, students should research jobs and careers they may be interested in. Further along the plan, which post-secondary pathway would lead to that career? And what are the prerequisites for that program? There will be grade 12 prerequisite courses in order to gain entry into those programs. And as such, which grade 11 courses are prerequisites for the grade 12 versions? There are five main considerations for students when they're entering grade 11. The first of which is the diploma requirement including 18 compulsory credits, 12 elective credits, 40 community service hours, and the Ontario literacy requirement. Number two, pathway destinations. Which post-secondary pathway is going to be the initial destination after high school? The next is the post-secondary requirement. So what is required to gain entry into a specific program? The fourth thing to consider are some specialty programs available to grade 11 students across Halton Region. And the last thing are the personal interests, strengths, and limitations of the student. What are the realistic goals in terms of subjects to study and course types? Diploma requirements in the grade 11 year include the requirement to take one English and one math course. Students fill the rest of their timetable with six electives of their own choosing. However, they should be conscious of the diploma group requirements as they continue their course choices. All students must take one credit from each of the three groups throughout their high school career. Now I've mentioned a number of post-secondary destinations, so it's a good idea to get a sense of what happens in each of these pathway destinations. Apprenticeships typically last three to five years and include both on the job training and college courses. Now, students don't actually apply to college, but instead they find an employer willing to take them on as an apprentice. Once the employer and the apprentice are registered with the Ontario Ministry of Training Colleges and Universities, the ministry will then organize when and where the apprentice will take those college theory courses. College as a destination ranges from one to four years, tends to be more applied learning, and focuses on training for a specific career. Colleges offer one to two year certificates, two to three year diplomas, and also offer four year bachelor degrees. Bachelor degrees at college typically have similar entrance requirements as university programs. So if you're interested in a bachelor degree at college, check that your grade 11 and 12 courses meet those requirements. University is typically a four year degree that focuses on more theoretical learning and expands a student's knowledge with broader ideas. And the workplace pathway can be entered directly after high school and help students develop their work readiness and employability skills. The terminology of courses in Ontario changes once students enter their senior grades. The terminology that is now used becomes destination based. In other words, the pathway of courses in grade 11 and 12 are named after the pathway destination they lead to. For instance, in grade nine and 10, academic courses were signified by the letter D in the course code. Academic pathway terminology is changed to the term university in grade 11 and 12 signified by U in the course code. In grades nine and 10, applied courses were signified by the letter P in the course code. Applied pathway terminology is changed to the term college in grade 11 and 12 signified by a C in the course code. And in grades nine and 10, essential courses were signified by the letter L in the course code. 
Essential pathway terminology is changed to the term workplace in grades 11 and 12, signified by an E in the course code. A new course pathway, however, begins in grade 11 as well. This pathway does not exist in grade 9 and 10, but equips students with the knowledge and skills needed to meet the entrance requirements for specific programs at universities and colleges. This new terminology is called university slash college, commonly known as mixed courses, and is signified by an M in the course code. We have a number of department areas that offer mixed courses. This pathway is an option for students from either the academic or applied pathways from grade 10. So here's an example of the math pathway chart throughout all four years of high school. For many grade 10 academic students, the natural progression in mathematics is the Mixed Functions and Applications course, MCF3M. This is the most common math course taken in grade 11 and leads to one grade 12 university math, that's Mathematics of Data Management, MDM4U. Other grade 11 students, those typically interested in studying sciences, health sciences, engineering, and commerce-based programs at university, are advised to take the grade 11 university functions MCR3U. This course leads directly to two grade 12 university math courses. That's Mathematics of Data Management, MDM4U, and Advanced Functions, MHF4U. From Advanced Functions, students would be able to take the Calculus and Vectors, MCV4U. Now it's important to note that taking grade 11 mixed math does not close the door to university. In fact, that course directly leads to 4U data management and is a popular pathway for many students applying to post-secondary programs. Students in applied math in grades 9 and 10 can decide between three different courses in their grade 11 year. The natural course progression for grade 10 applied students is to take grade 11 Foundations for College Mathematics, MBF3C. However, strong math students in grade 10 applied may be able to take the Functions and Applications MCF3M course that was mentioned earlier. The final option for grade 10 applied students is MEL3E, that's Mathematics for Work and Everyday Life, which focuses on the math that we use each day like earning money, paying taxes, making purchases, compound interests, saving, investing, borrowing, and similar mathematical skills. All students need to take grade 11 math. So it's important they select an appropriate course where they will experience success. Teacher recommendations from grade 10 are important to consider. And finally, students can always take two math courses in grade 11, for example, mixed and university, in order to supplement their mathematical foundation in preparation for grade 12 university maths. Discussing with your math teacher or your guidance counselor may assist you in selecting the right course for your success. The English curriculum pathway chart is not as busy as the math chart because English does not offer mixed pathway courses. Students in the academic pathway in grade 9 and 10 can continue in university English in 11 and 12, but may also select college English in 11 if they desire. Students in the applied pathway in 9 and 10 continue in college English in 11 and 12, while students in essential pathway English in 9 and 10 continue in workplace English in 11 and 12. The Ontario Secondary School Literacy Course, OLC4O, is a credit that meets the high school diploma literacy requirement for students that were unsuccessful on the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test. To gain entry into these post-secondary pathways, these are the types of courses students should consider in high school. For the apprenticeship pathway, English and math should be college courses and the Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program, a pre-apprenticeship, is a great option. The Grade 11 Guidance Course, Designing Your Future, and Cooperative Education are beneficial to get hands-on experiences. For the College Pathway, College English is needed for diplomas and University English is needed for degrees. Grade 11 College Math is a requirement for college programs that require the Grade 12 College Math. For the university pathway, university English is needed, and a combination of university and mixed courses are needed for the remaining courses. And for the workplace pathway, English, science, and math should be workplace courses, 
and Designing Your Future and Co-op are also great additions to round out course selection. Now with six elective courses in grade 11, students have lots of opportunity to select courses that they're interested in. Here's a snapshot of the grade 11 elective options. More details, course descriptions, and prerequisite listings are available on the Guidance Department website at gdhsguidance.weebly.com. There are unique programs available to students in the grade 11 year. Some of these are located at GDHS, while others are located in the school board. Cooperative education at GDHS allows students to fill two periods in their timetable with a placement in the community, such as a business or an agency, to experience on-the-job training. Students gain valuable work experience and are assessed and evaluated by their placement supervisor and their co-op teacher. Placements are typically organized in the morning or in the afternoon, allowing the student to take other electives or compulsory courses in their school day. Specialist high skills majors allow students to focus on a particular area or subject of interest. Students in SHSM programs go on additional field trips, receive extra training and certifications, and get more real world experience. Co-op is a requirement of SHSM programs and GDHS offers six specialist high skills majors. Other SHSM programs are available across Halton region and you can explore those programs on haltonpathways.ca. The Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program, oh yeah, is a pre-apprenticeship program that is started while in high school, typically in the grade 12 year. Students conduct hands-on learning, receive trade school theory instruction, and are placed in a co-op experience in the community. GDHS offers four OYAT programs, while many other OYAT programs are available across Halton region. You can explore those programs on haltonpathways.ca. The Bronte Creek Project is an environmental leadership program for grade 11 students across Halton region and is located at Camp Sidrabine in Burlington. Students attend Brawny Creek for an entire semester and earn four credits while they're there. Classes are smaller and conduct more experiential and outdoor activities like hiking, camping, and cooking. You can visit brontecreekproject.org to find out more information and to see when they're hosting their open house. The final specialized program to note is the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program in grade 11 and 12 here at GDHS. Students can complete a full IB diploma if they wish, but could take IB certificate courses in specific areas instead. IB courses are offered at the standard or higher level, and students in the full diploma program are required to do additional community involvement and complete an extended essay. Those students in the International Studies Preparation Program or the Accelerated Learning Program at GDHS have been exposed to IB thinking and learning methods. However, any student may register for IB regardless of their grade 9 or 10 program. You can visit the GDHS IB website at gdhsib.weebly.com for more information on this multi-year program. And finally, course selection is completed in MyBlueprint. Students need to log into their MyBlueprint account at myblueprint.ca slash Halton and add in their grade 11 courses to their high school plan. When course selection is open, students will see a blue review course selection button followed by a green submit button. Now, if you have any questions about the course selection process, please visit the guidance department website at gdhsguidance.weebly.com for additional resources, handouts, course descriptions, and instructions for course selection. Thanks for watching.